The director of finance of Mazagin Dock Shipbuilders has said that the shipyard will deliver the fifth Scorpion class submarine to the Indian Navy in January 2021 and will be commissioned into the Indian Navy by the end of 2023. The company had suffered a setback of about three months in the development of fifth submarine due to the disruption of logistics chain. The first two submarines have already been commissioned into the Indian Navy while the third and fourth submarines are undergoing sea and basin trials respectively, and will be commissioned in December 2020 and December 2021 respectively, and the sixth submarine will be launched by the end of 2022, and will be commissioned by 2024. He also said, that the shipyard has augmented its building capacity and has increased it to 11 submarines and 10 ships at a time, and has held discussions with foreign customers from Africa Latin America Middle East and Southeast Asia, as it aims to diversify into exports and refit of commercial vessels. The Indian Defence Secretary has left for a two-day visit to Moscow, to expedite the delivery of S-400 air defence system, and review the emergency purchase orders as well as spare parts for military equipments, and he will also discuss the progress of the project to manufacture AK-203 rifles in India. His visit comes ahead of a scheduled visit by Russian President Vladimir Putin to India for the annual bilateral summit between the two countries, where a number of defence contracts are expected to be signed. India is in the final stage of negotiations to acquire Spritlight tanks from Russia, and India can also receive a Russian short-range air defence system at an early date. The Indian Defence Minister has approved a new DRDO Procurement Manual 2020, that will simplify the processes to encourage more participation of the Indian industry including start-up companies and micro-small and medium enterprises into research and development activity, and it will help to achieve the goal of self-reliance in the defence sector. India has started receiving winter jackets from the US that have been imported as part of emergency purchase, and will be part of the reserve stock for more than 45,000 troops deployed at the line of actual control. The first batch of 15,000 jackets had recently arrived in India, while the army has already created a heated habitat facility with bunker-type beds. Soldiers will also be provided with special high-nutrient diet and arctic tents, as the temperature will be around minus 30 degrees Celsius in the coming months. On his three-day visit to the US, the Vice Chief of the Indian Army visited the headquarters of the Indo-Pacific Command, and he interacted with the Chief of Staff of Indo-Pacific Command, and discussed the India-US partnership in the region. He also visited the 25th Infantry Division Lightning Academy of the US Army today, where he interacted with troops after witnessing jungle training and Chinook helicopter sling load carriage. After India officially announced the participation of the Australian Navy in the upcoming Malabar 2020 naval exercise, the Australian Foreign Minister has said that the announcement is another important step in Australia's deepening relationship with India. Australia and India have already signed the Mutual Logistics Support Agreement, that will allow more complex joint exercises, and will improve interoperability between the armed forces of the two sides. Taiwan has launched its new southbound policy, and it is looking at setting up large-scale production bases in India. Taiwan's deputy foreign minister has said, that both India and Taiwan are global heavyweight in the field of technology, and India is a good place to build production bases, given its democracy human resources and strategically important location.